The number one struggle of new writers is being consistent. This isn't because they're being lazy or they're demotivated or discouraged or they don't know what topics to do. But usually when I used to be inconsistent was because I didn't have a system around my writing. So in this video, I'm going to share the writing workflow that helped me write over 100 articles online using Notion. Hi there, my name is June, and on this channel, I explore topics on writing, personal development, and making money in a way that feels good, and I hope that you follow along my journey. So basically, my writing workflow is very simple. I get an idea, I capture it using my phone, and then I write it on Notion, I edit it using different tools, and then I publish on a platform called Medium. That's usually where I blog. Today, I'm going to walk you through how that looks like on Notion. Okay, so this is my Notion dashboard. It's called the JN Writing Project. At the top here is basically where I say what my mission is and my values and why do I care? Because sometimes I'll forget why I care about this thing that I'm doing. This usually just really helps me realign to my, you know, my why. And basically I have a little guide here. Where am I right now and where do I want to go? And basically this is just my writing guideline. So these are the topics I'm excited to explore. So usually I write topics on being a multi-passionate creator, routines and habits, personal growth topics for millennials. And, and then I've just started freelancing. So now I want to talk about that as well. So again, this is my writing workflow. So this is usually what it looks like. It's not really that complicated. It's quite simple. This is my idea bucket where usually when I get a random idea, I will upload it using my phone on my notes so you can categorize your ideas if you want to as well so this section is called the fire up your soul with writing basically this is where i can visualize really what are the different essays that i'm working on so this is my these are the things that need to full draft as you can see there's just a little bit of writing there this one also needs a full draft and I made a little template there. If you want me to show you how I create my template, then let me know in the comments below. And then these are things that I usually need to edit. As you can see, this is due a long, long time ago. I haven't edited it. And these are my published posts that I basically need to repurpose. So whether that's converting them into tweets or into essays that I can publish on different websites like Twitter or Quora, that usually is the purpose of that. As you can see, I have a backlog and this is my proof of consistency. So basically, this is the table of my essays. So it's a little messy, but right now I'm only tracking my newsletter. This one are my Medium posts. So I wrote a lot back in 2021. So you can see all of the things that I've written here. And that is it. That's basically how I write all my blog posts and my newsletter and how I track them all in one place. I know it can be a little bit messy. I do have to clean that up, but I thought I would show you the bird's eye view of the writing process looks like for someone like me who writes on Medium. I hope this gave you the behind the scenes that you might need when it comes to your writing process. Cause I know when I started writing, I was kind of confused about where to start, where to go. And then I kind of developed a system and then that's how I became more consistent Consistent. I think that's the main benefit of having a system is that you can be more consistent with it. If you like this video, you might want to check out the video, why start blogging on Medium, and I will see you in the next video.